Hi, I'm Ernie Conover. The Bora WTX track system brings great utility to the small shop. It will guide a handheld circular saw to cut sheet goods safely and efficiently, and it will guide a router to cut dados, grooves, and rabbits. The basis of the system is the WTX tracks themselves. The first one being a small track that spans 25 inches. Great for small cabinet pieces. The second two are each 50 inches long and may be used individually or joined together like this. The individual track will span four feet while together they span a whopping 101 inches, much more than the 97 inch length of this piece of MDF. At one end there is a movable stop that you may move anywhere, but once you push these two together, it locks this solid. To use it, you simply put this end over the end, bring the other end up snug, and then slide that forward, put a little forward pressure on it. It's now locked. And I simply walk down to this end now, square up this track, and lock this toggle handle. I can now move the whole sheet of MDF, but I can't move the track. The Bora saw plate works in conjunction with most handheld circular saws. By locking these two clamps on the front of the saw shoe right here and securing this strut at the back of the shoe, it is locked to the base. You then adjust this fence to your track and the track will now guide the saw for perfect cuts. When you attach your saw to the saw plate, it is a very good idea to fool around until you've placed it a set distance from the track. I chose an inch and a half, which worked out well with this Hitachi saw, and that means that I simply have to scribe my layout line an inch and a half from where I want the cut and proceed with work. To make a cut, I like to put the and with a movable stop where I'm going to start, for that gives me some overhang that I can start my cut safely. I will bring the saw to speed. I set the depth of the cut in this saw to be just a little more than the thickness of the material. I also have two pieces of sacrificial material here that I can safely cut through. The work was totally supported on these two horses during the entire cut, making it very safe. For cross-cutting pieces, it's best to set some scrap strips of wood across your horses to support this so it can't sag during the cut. The Bora router base also works with all of the tracks and allows you to cut dados, grooves, and rabbits handily with a router. A dado is a U-shaped trough in wood that runs across the grain. A groove is the same trough running with the grain. A rabbit is a trough that's open on one side making a stair step on the edge of the piece. You attach your router to this base with a porter cable guide bushing that fits right into the base and your router is ready to go. Plywood is made to metric standards and generally runs a bit less than quarter, three-eighths, or half inch. Therefore, cutting a dado or a groove to fit Standard plywood will result in a very loose fit. You can buy special bits that cure this problem. They're made to the sides of the plywood, but the Bora router jig solves the problem with any standard bit for you. 
This is also true of solid wood that may not be exactly half, three eighths or quarter. This piece is a little bit more than half inch, which is the bit I have in the router. So we will simply loosen these two screws right here and we'll set this little pointer to half inch, which is the size of the bit. And now we'll put the piece of wood that we want to mate with and just push that up tight and re-tighten our two knobs. Now we'll make our first cut. I've centered these two notches on the line, which is the center of the first cut, which is half inch. And this would put the outside edge of our dado a quarter inch from this edge. I now simply put the router in the base, put on my ear protection and start it up. There, we have our first cut. To widen this to the thickness of the material, we simply undo these two knobs and push that back till it touches right there. Relock them, and now we'll make a second cut. This second cut, it's very important that it go from your left to your right so that the bit is carving along this edge. If I try to go this way, it's going to climb cut and get away from me. So we set it back in the base, start it up. And there we have a dado that fits snugly with our solid wood panel.